um, when well, actually when I was an intern there, um, I got put on a project um, and I loved this project. It was my favorite thing I ever did at Exxon Mobil. Um, and I ended up, so I, I prototyped everything in, in Python um, and it, it worked really great. Um, distributing it to other people was, was kind of hard. I should have, I should have made it like a container and deployed it as a web application. Um, but as an intern, I didn't really know how to, how to do that quite yet. Mm -hmm. Um, so anyways, our IT team ended up taking it and redesigning it in, I think they were using like .NET basically, um, and putting it on Azure, putting it in the cloud. And to be honest, uh, it didn't go very far. They ran into a lot of issues. Um, the, the IT team really struggled with it. Um, and the person doing it, I mean, I don't, I don't blame him. Um, the technology we were using was, was kind of old and a little clunky. Um, but he had a, I think a software engineering degree. Um, and he was kind of acting as, you know, a little bit as a data engineer, a little bit as a software engineer, what background is best if I want to get into data engineering? Generally, I would say if you if you have a general knowledge of computer science, that is that is the main thing. Like I'm coming from where I'm coming from, how I started is, is that the, the the traditional computer science route. I always like computer networking as well. Working at Bosch as an intern for while I studied, uh, I was working uh, in networking departments, set up routers and set up, um, yeah networks and, and everything. So I, that is one part and you you need that knowledge of IP routing and, and so on IP networking. A lot of times, even if you're on the cloud platforms, that is something I, I that is, is dear to me. I think you need you need to you need generally the, these are the three things that that you need you need computer networking because you see this all the time. You need um, relational databases you need to be able to to query data from a, from a relational database with sql you need to be able to to design a simple sql database a relational database and you need to have some software development skills you don't need to be the the, the best ever but like the, these are these are the the, the tools the, the the things you all all the time see you know and without coding, you can't do stuff. You can't do stuff because it's not like what a lot of people say. Like, huh? We have these new platforms where you do click, 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 and everything is done. <laughs> Doesn't work that way. <laughs> no. <laughs> For very, very simple stuff, might, but like, yeah. So you need coding. You need to understand how to how to work with data in in databases, and then how how can you yeah, how can you set up a few things like. That's, that's, okay. Even if you're working with Docker, you need to understand. Okay, and now I need to create a network, and I, you, you need to understand that the the containers need to have need to be part of the network, and maybe you need to get in and need to understand, need to look up the actual IP addresses within the containers and stuff. So you need to understand how does that work, right? And from there on, I think then then that's uh, that's the way to go. So you. Do do you need a formal degree? <laughs> yes and no. Okay. I think, I think um, if you're really good, or let's say let's say this way, the this you can learn everything on your own. Like there are so many good courses out there. If you have no idea about coding, you can you can do that. But actually, study it, studying that at, at a university uh, has a lot of uh, different aspects that that help you on your journey, right? So, um, to to actually do some projects there to have the stress of of uh, learning for for actual tests and so on, like. They, they have a lot of knowledge around there where you might not might not even know that you need to learn. So it, I think generally it makes sense to to have a degree. Um, yeah, but it, it's not it's not super necessary if you have the if you don't have a degree and have have years of experience in working in these topics. 
who who do you take somebody who has a lot of experience or somebody is new and has a degree most likely the person who, who has experience okay Let, let's take me for example let's say i'm a i'm a chemical engineer um i i have an undergrad in chemical engineering i know how to use python i know a little bit of sql um could i could i just could i just take some courses on learndataengineering.com and figure figure out a decent amount of it yeah sure sure no, not, just, not just the thing is and and what i'm what i'm doing with the academy like people people are, uh, are my focus is to teaching you and i do this with the academy i do this with the coaching teaching you where to look there are, if you're looking for specific courses on a uh, let's say a apache spark course i always say there they are there's a hundred percent a twenty dollar course on on Udemy or something that is way better than than what I do, what I have in the academy. But this these uh, these single courses that you see everywhere, they 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 don't help you because you learn this one tool and you don't know how this how everything works together. How can you actually build something? Like how how. There, there are multiple layers of a platform and you need to understand that. And that is way, and, and once you are on that level, like you, you, you could go, you could go on, on the, in the academy, look about, look through this stuff, look through like how do document stores work. And then you can, if you're interested in that to, to go with the further, then I will get a course on that or a good book where you actually have a 200 page book and you, you go through it and you do some exercises in there. The, you know, then you have a targeted learning, boom, 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 and you know actually where to go. And that's the biggest problem. You you could do it, but you don't know where to start. Yeah. Yeah. And the the roadmap is one of the hardest parts of, yeah, of all sure. data professions, um, especially because I think it's so new um, that, I mean, okay, it's not that new, but it's gotten a lot more popular um as of as of recently and so i think there's a lot of different avenues to learn um and so we're still trying to figure that out and i think the other part is like you talked about earlier is and this is true of a lot of tech jobs is your degree doesn't matter that much it's it's your results it's your experience you know um it's can can you prove that you're you're valuable um and in the past that's been a diploma and a resume um, but I think now there's there's a, a big transition between, okay, well, do you have experience? Do you have a way to show that you, you know, you've done some projects in the past? Um, I'm a big fan of having a portfolio and doing projects because I think that's how you show people, hey, look, I can do something. So um, yeah. 